Tom didn't know a single word of English, as it was a language he had never studied in his life, but now, feeling that he finally had the resources to learn. He decided to enrol in the Language Leader Academy for that purpose. He felt somewhat self-conscious. Most of the students already had basic knowledge because they had studied the subject in school. However, that was not his case. I'm actually quite fluent in speaking and understanding, remarked Jack, one of his classmates at the academy, once the English course started. Uh, I don't need to be here, but uh, I think it's a good pastime. And if I get a diploma at the end, even better. Tom wished he could say the same and feel as confident as Jack, but he knew it was a process. And the main thing right now was to strive to reach the level he desired. Tom wanted to achieve fluency in English and be able to communicate like a native speaker. So he started studying as much as possible, always attending classes, taking notes and talking with students and teachers about the things he didn't understand. Little by little, he was improving, and even though he sometimes felt it wasn't enough, he didn't lose hope. He continued looking for resources like reading materials and short storybooks. He sat down every day and followed a study guide he created himself. He made a guide that was structured in the following way. Reading for 10 minutes, then underlining the words he did not know, and finally, after practicing the unfamiliar words, he would read them out loud to practice his pronunciation. Jack, on the other hand, always had a more carefree attitude. He attended his classes with minimal effort, often giving the impression that he only went to classes to make friends. He attended many classes without paying attention to the teacher, talking to his classmates, or even whistling songs to himself. Tom tried not to mind him. He feared that if he did, he would become demotivated and lose his own progress. He had already lost the weekly quiz a couple of times because he was distracted and that couldn't continue. So instead of focusing on what Jack was doing, he concentrated on taking even more lessons and using every extra resource he could, all with a clear goal in mind. A year later, the moment of truth arrived. The Academy announced a contest where the winner could win a trip to the USA. It was a unique opportunity to show how much he had improved. This is gonna be very easy. Jack had said when he found out. As usual, Jack didn't study for the contest. Tom, however, prepared, using all the tools at his disposal. And a week later, the results were announced publicly. To Jack's surprise, and everyone's surprise, Tom had won by a wide margin. Meanwhile, Jack lost, having been overwhelmed by a questionnaire that was clearly beyond his grasp. Tom was overjoyed and during the award ceremony, unexpectedly, Jack, the snooty loser, went up to the stage to congratulate him and deliver an important message to the audience. Be humble and always strive, because I thought I knew everything and I lost. Tom and Jack hugged while the audience applauded in an ovation that echoed throughout the auditorium. From then on, the Academy created a new slogan titled From Zero to Hero in honour of Tom. Vocabulary. Enroll. To officially register as a member of an institution or a participant in a course. Example. She decided to enroll in a cooking class to improve her culinary skills. Self-conscious, nervous, or uncomfortable because you are worried about what people think about you or your actions. Example. He felt self-conscious about his accent when speaking in public. Remarked said something as a comment. It is the same as saying mentioned. Example, she remarked on the beautiful weather as they walked through the park. Fluent, to be able to express oneself easily and articulately in a language. Example, after years of practice, he became fluent in French and could hold conversations effortlessly. Strive, to make great efforts to achieve or obtain something. Example, he always strives for excellence in his work, aiming to be the best in his field. Carefree, 
free from anxiety or responsibility. Example, the children played in the park, carefree and full of joy, attentive, paying close attention to something. Example, the attentive student always took detailed notes during lectures, overwhelmed, feeling suddenly strong emotion or stress due to too much of something. Example, he felt overwhelmed by the amount of homework she had to complete. Ovation, a sustained and enthusiastic show of appreciation from an audience, especially by means of applause. Example, the performer received a standing ovation at the end of his concert. Slogan, a short and striking or memorable phrase used in advertising or promotion. Example, the company's slogan, just do it, is recognized worldwide. 